The Cocos Keeling Islands are incredibly remote and unbelievably pristine. An oasis in the Indian Ocean where you escape the worries of the world. The lagoon here in the middle of the main atoll, which is made up of 26 islands, is exquisite at any time of year. Home to around 30,000 turtles and plenty of harmless little reef sharks. An abundance of coral and tropical fish life makes snorkeling or diving compelling. But other adventures on the surface of the water have an equal measure of appeal. Island hopping is as popular with the locals as it is with visitors to Cocos, and there are plenty of options to consider. But a favourite is Tiny Prison Island. Really picnic island, isn't it? It is, it's just perfect. With all the hermit crabs everywhere and oh. the little sharks out there always catching the waves. It's like this every day. Every day is like this, it's just beautiful. Most of the beaches facing into the lagoon truly are pristine, but others are awash with treasure. It always constantly changes, so you never really know what you're going to find. It's pretty exciting and dynamic. A lot more fun than just going into an art store and buying new materials, that's for sure. Emma Washer runs art workshops that utilise the flotsam and jetsam and showcases the work of other Cocos artists inside this extraordinary gallery a masterpiece in its own right. Most of the local Cocos Malay community reside here on gorgeous home island. And Ozzie McRae is both passionate and able to bring his people's history to life. During Kulis Rosira, the men have to collect roughly between 400 to 500 coconut a day. And the more coconut you collect, the more money you get. Today, you'd be hard-pressed finding a closer-knit society with deeper connections to family, or a people so proud of their culture. This really is a paradise in the truest sense of the word, where the only thing that seems to be missing is you.